the online gaming sector now this industry is a nascent one as we all know uh, it's near about more than 1 billion dollar generating in terms of industry size and it, it's expected to be uh, growing at a very fast pace to 5 billion dollars in the coming 3 to 5 years however uh, recently the empowered group of ministers have recommended uh, an increase in taxation of this online gaming industry the profits what they are making so the tax slab currently which was 18% now the recommendation to gst council is to make it 28% which is the sin rate what we call which is something we put a rate to curb an activity uh, let's say this these rates are given to uh, casinos and uh, other betting activities and other uh, horse racing or such activities so and certain products as well now uh, putting the uh, online gaming sector in this sin rate has been questioned by the industry associations the ceo chiefs and others in terms of understanding why this rate uh, is being increased from 18 to 28% for the entire online gaming industry it can be understood that the betting element within the online gaming industry what forms we see all around growing where a uh, game of chance what we can segregate online gaming games as games with a game of chance or games game of skill so that segregation is required and wherever it's a game of chance where a, an element of gamble or betting is there that may be raised to the sin rate of 28% but the game of skill need not and this industry needs to be booming it's at a nascent stage so we cannot put it in as a blanket 28% so that is one uh, industry voice what we have uh, secondly the the valuation uh, methodology what is being used by the tax officials to to tax uh, the revenue profit of these gaming companies that has also been questioned by the industry association and uh, gaming chiefs now uh, at times uh, they use the entry fee the kind of uh, entry fee to a platform or to to, to play a game and others that is being taxed by the uh, tax officials uh, by the system and uh, at times it is on the overall uh, betting amount the tax happens so it is being uh, proposed and pushed that the valuation needs to be rationalized and only the commission fee or the transaction value needs to be understood what is happening what revenue is accruing for the gaming firm and thereby the profit so that needs to be taxed so that way uh, it can be more rational and it will be more progressive and at par with the global regulatory environment on how uh, the environment is being con- made conducive for the industry to grow so that is the position of the industry and that needs to be respected and now the case is with gst council and it is to be seen how this taxing uh, upgradation from 18% to 28% will unfold for the industry thank you